Before we went to break, we asked what the biggest snowstorm on record was. Well, you don't have to go too far back to remember this one. The blizzard of January 23rd and 24th in 2016 produced 30.2 inches of snow at Harrisburg International Airport, topping the charts for the most snow from one storm on record. And I remember it well. You know, in putting together our winter weather outlook, there are several things that we look at that may influence our weather here in the winter in the Susquehanna Valley. Well, this upcoming winter, Matt and uh, Ethan want to show you what we looked at. The upper atmosphere is one of the main drivers for what ends up happening here at the surface. And to help long range forecast patterns, we look to the upper levels to see what might be changing. Jet stream positions and movements are very important in determining what the winter here in the Susquehanna Valley will look like, both with temperature and snowfall. And last year, one of those main drivers was the presence of El Nino, or warmer than average waters in the Pacific Ocean near the equator. In an El Nino winter, those warmer Pacific waters helped to fuel a stronger southern jet stream. A stronger southern jet for us meant more mixed bag winter events with many changeovers from snow to sleet to freezing rain and yes, even plain rain. And overall, temperatures were warmer than average due in large part to that southern influence. However, this coming winter, it's expected to be neither an El Nino or La Nina. We call this ENSO neutral, and it means that the Pacific waters near the equator are near average temperatures. We believe that this will lead to a weaker southern jet stream and allow more cold to come into the lower 48, and thus more opportunities for snow and less chances for mixed storms. So the southern jet stream looks like it'll be less of a factor this year, but Ethan, the northern jet stream could be very interesting to watch. The northern jet stream usually separates seasonally chilly air and cold Arctic air that can come straight down from the North Pole. And with a weaker southern jet stream, it looks like the northern jet will be the highway or the track for the majority of our winter storms. The northern jet's position is highly influenced by the strength and position of the polar vortex and also the North Atlantic Oscillation. The NAO occurs in the North Atlantic Ocean and has to do with the pressure between the low pressure near Iceland and the high pressure near the Azores. It has a positive and negative phase. During the negative phase, the NAO, the jet stream, dips south over the eastern U.S. This locks in cold air for days or weeks at a time. When the jet stream has a strong dip over the east coast, it is possible for one or a few major snowstorms can form and impact the east coast. The big question mark this winter is a marine heat wave in the Gulf of Alaska, also known as a warm blob. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, this blob aids in the persistence of an area of high pressure over Alaska. This area of high pressure helps buckle the jet stream to the north over Alaska and the Pacific Northwest. This buckle would allow colder air to dive into central Canada and the United States and could lead to an active storm track in the east and the Susquehanna Valley. So with an ENSO neutral pattern and with this marine heat wave in the northern Pacific, our winter is likely going to be controlled mostly by the position and track of the northern jet stream. So what does all this mean for our winter forecast? Uh, we've got some good news. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun has our winter weather outlook. As we head to break, here's a trivia question. When was the snowiest winter on record? We'll be right back. 